Hello Cabbage fans, right, little set to review, 155mm filled howitzer, 1917, 122 pieces, one mini dude, the Polish soldier, from the Blue Army of General Yusef Haller, yeah, I think I did that right, uh, this set was bought out to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the end of the World War I, and I think Poland's independence, uh, top of the box, Usual thing, little QR code, side there, back there. And then we have the the back of the box, sorry, is there. I've got myself muddled up there. A little bit of information there. We'll go into more detail of that once we get the set built. So I'll see you on the other side. Right, there we have it built. So, usual kind of instructions with the Kobe. You know, blah, blah, blah. Some nice little sets on the back here. Again, we've got another Fulker, um, Avro uh, independent set and a field gun, 75 millimeter field gun there. So, some other sets you can have a little look through. Um, this is, however, the Howitzer. Um, this model is the Canon D155C model 1917 Schneider. Oh, that's a male four and a half. And the howitzer is a special type of big gun, so it can go across the, the range of big guns for a howitzer. And it's normally a short barreled gun, like this one here. So nice and short, and it moves up and down. The barrel moves up and down. Um, it usually fires at a shorter distance than a than a bigger gun, but it fires lower than a mortar and higher than a cannon. So that's kind of like the, it's an in intermediate between the both. Um, obviously very mobile, can be pulled around on the back of a Jeep or whatever, horses, whatever they got to pull it around. Um, the name Howitzer, um, I just dropped my little minifigure there, comes from the Czech word 
of course, this, this may go wrong. Half Nice, which is a catapult that fires many stones. So that is the origins of the name Howitzer, interestingly enough. This gun was used by many of the nation's armies from Poland to France to Germany, all across the board. Everyone used this. The little model itself, let's get into that. It looks very, very nice. There's some nice wheels on this. Some nice detailing on the front of the kind of blast shield and it moves up and down. And also the little flap on the back opens up for the hole there, which is a printed piece. Got the way you load up the shell or castle, whatever you want to call it. And it comes with one of the shells or castles. I don't know what you want to call them, but comes with one of those. And also comes with this little cheeky chappy, the Polish soldier from the... That's really difficult to say Polish soldier. It's a bit of a mouthful, that one. Uh, from the Blue Army. Um, so let's have a little look at this cheeky chappy. I'll put the bomb over there. Let's hope it doesn't explode. Um, so he's got his kind of face detailing there. With his little moustache and a nice little hat or helmet, as you want to call it. And some nice printing on the chest and nothing on the back. So he's quite different. I quite like him. These mini dudes are growing on me. Um, yeah, as in a set, not bad at all. I quite rate this one. It's quite nice. I'm going to build up like a, a little collection of all these and that. You know, maybe we'll do like a little diorama, a little army diorama. That'd be quite cool. In my head, I'd like to build a Carantan, but this is this could be used in that. Um, do check out this set on Brick Tanks, five percent discount. Um, as always, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like. Also, leave a comment in below, see what you say, you know, leave some feedback on the video. And as always, if you don't like this video, buy a real howitzer, pop the letter in there and just fire it and see where it lands. Take care. Bye-bye.